Empire Builder, the Amtrak train that runs through northern North Dakota and Montana, has been the only route here for decades. But hopes are that the North Coast Hiawatha route, which went through the southern half of the two states until it was shut down more than 40 years ago, will make a comeback. Michael Anthony explains. The North Coast Hiawatha route used to be in service during the 1970s, providing passenger rail service from Chicago to Seattle, following along Interstates 94 and 90 through North Dakota and Montana. The Big Sky Passenger Rail Authority wants to reinstate the route, with Vice Chairman Jason Stewart saying people in this region need more options to get to their destination besides driving for long periods of time. We need that ability to improve our quality of life for our community so that our residents have the same accessibility as residents in other parts of the country uh, to get to where they need to go safely, comfortably, affordably. Last week, the idea of reinstatement got a big boost after an announcement from Senator John Tester stating the old route has been selected for corridor ID funding. Being a part of the program means it will be developed as a long-term passenger rail project. We're a rural state. Connecting businesses and families together is important. And if we can do it by rail, it makes perfect sense. While the news allows the Big Sky Passenger Rail Authority to begin planning and development, they still have a long way to go before Amtrak heads south. The next big milestone will be the Federal Railroad Administration's long distance study, which will be released sometime next summer. And I'm certainly very confident from everything that the FRA has told us and that we've seen from them so far that this route is also going to be right at or near the top of the list for the routes that the FRA and USDOT are going to recommend to Congress. Stewart says the goal is to have twice daily service each way on the proposed route. He adds he wants the North Coast Hiawatha line to further improve services across the region and not take away anything from the Empire Builder, which runs across the High Line of Montana. I'm Michael Anthony, reporting for your news leader. Proposed stops would include most cities along I-90 and 94, such as Fargo, Bismarck, Glendive, and Billings.